We're back with our Ask Ed question and answer series on UPS systems and critical power applications. I'm Ed, and I'm just bursting with answers today. Someone might even be correct. So let's open the mysterious magic envelope and read the first question. This one's from June Foray in Southern California. I want to deploy my UPS in an end of row configuration and add a UPS each time I install a new server rack row. What are the important considerations compared with traditional power room or gray space UPS installations? Well, the first consideration is the choice of operating voltage. In the data center white space, a UPS with 208 volt input and 208 volt output saves on total cost of ownership by simplifying the installation and enhancing efficiency by allowing the UPS output to be connected to the load distribution without need for a step down transformer. Keep in mind that wire, conduit, and circuit breaker sizes will be larger at 208 versus 480. Next, I'd strongly recommend a modular UPS, where small internal power modules combine to create a given UPS kilowatt rating. This provides easy inherent redundancy by simply adding a single module to the total. Modular UPS also enhances data center availability by allowing power modules to be added or replaced while the critical load remains online. Now, most computer rooms are short on space, and this is more important in edge data centers, which are popping up everywhere nowadays. So options like lithium ion batteries and compact output distribution panels can provide good flexibility in a line and match compact package. And these can easily be duplicated on each rack row as you grow. So those are the main considerations. And if you need more details, contact us at Ask Ed, and we may send you one of these Eaton branded tumblers. In fact, we've got a warehouse full of them and we'd like to get rid of some. So we'll see you next time on Ask Ed.